Welcome to probably the most bizarre stream I'm going to do. Uh, <laughs> so this is going to be a weird one. Um, right here I have uh, UE, viewer, U model, whatever, open. Um, which is what I'm using to extract the game files. Um, for just for clarification, because I know most people who watch my channel probably will have no fucking clue what this is about. Alpha Protocol is a game that uh, I personally have a lot of love for. Uh, it's not super great. It's not super awful. It has some weird bugs. It plays awfully on PC with keyboard and mouse. Um, it was definitely, it's definitely a way better console game. But um, I think it's a fun game. Uh, best way I can describe it is imagine if Mass Effect was a stealth game. <laughs> it has like a similar sort of like decision system to that um, and like a branching story and stuff like that but it's also a stealth game. That's the easiest way I can explain what Alpha Protocol is. Um, imagine Mass Effect but it's stealth. That's basically basically the most important thing. Um, yeah, so so the thing, <laughs> so just to quickly run over the story because the, the, the main thing, the main thing that I know about the development history of this game because I, <laughs> after I got my, you know, hold on, give me a sec. I'm going to very, very quickly um, just uh, do a very humble brag and then talk about this. After I got my uh, New Game Plus world record, um, one of the <laughs> devs probably isn't the right word for it, one of the people who worked on this game um, reached out to me on Twitter and was like, hey, so that you got the world record, blah blah blah. And then we had like a bit of a back and forth and we, we had like a lot of discussion about the game and obviously it's been like 10 years since they've worked on it so they don't remember everything and they weren't there for like everything. So they couldn't answer all of my questions but they could answer most of them. And the most important thing that I learned about the development of this game is that there were basically three separate games that they made. There's the first version, the second version, and the final version. Yeah, I've also got the new game build record as well as new game plus. But um, yeah, so basically they made three versions of this game over the course uh, of its development. Um. For the sake of identifying each version, uh, the first version I'm going to refer to as the plane build for reasons that you'll understand later. Uh, the second version I'm going to refer to as the CIA build for reasons you'll understand later. And then the third version is just the final game. Um, each version of the game was completely different. <laughs> so they were basically three different games that they made. Um, and actually, I can probably find information about this. If I search for Alpha Protocol, I think it's Uli Bui. Uh, let me have a look. The making of Alpha Protocol Obsidian's secret best RPG. Here it is. So we're just going to quickly, quickly skim through this article because it sets up some stuff and some information that is interesting to know. Um, so imagine a glitzy cinematic sequence where you, as a secret agent, fight your way through an aeroplane soaring through the sky. You're pressing button prompts appearing on the screen while your hero wax chops, spins and kicks at the anybody anywhere. This is nothing like the final game, by the way. Um, you fight all the way down until eventually you beat the guy and rip off his parachute and, I don't know, break his neck and he floats off and he uses his parachute to land. Sounds great, like a James Bond, Jack Bauer or Jason Bond scene or some from Uncharted 3 which hadn't been made yet. Um, and this scene in question was from 10 years ago. The scene was from Alpha Protocol, Secret One of its Best. Um, the scene Chris Parker is describing took a year and a half to make and cost something like $500,000. Uh, <laughs> sorry, my throat is dying, give me a second. 
I apologize. Um, yeah, this is an unbelievable amount of resources to build. There was no way Obsidian could keep it across a 20 hour game or even across three hours. Um, the sequence represented everything wrong with Elf, Elf Protocol at the time. It was kind of cool and kind of neat, but it was way outside what the core gameplay was supposed to be. The fundamental RPG experience had gotten lost underneath a whole bunch of other stuff that seemed neat. <laughs> Um, so from what I can tell, this version that he's talking about with this plane scene, this like cinematic plane scene with like um, quick time events, from what I can tell, this is the first version of the game. This is why I'm this is why I'm referring to it as the plane build because this plane scene was only in the first version, and then they scrapped it and they made the second version, which we'll get to later. Um, and then at some point they scrapped the second version, which I'll refer to as the CIA build, for reasons that will also be explained later. And then they made the final build of the game. Um, and all three versions of the game, like I said, were completely different. They all had different stories, all the characters were written differently. Pretty much everything was different, but the characters stayed the same. So the main character was still Michael Vaughn, the uh, Westridge was still a character, Parker was still a character, I think Mina was still a character but in the earlier versions Mina was less relevant from what I remember being told. Um, yeah, so sounds like me during the week. Uh, but yeah, so basically it was it was like a com it was basically just three different completely different games but before we get into anything there's something that I want to very quickly show because this is insane to me right if we look in the game files c130 interior content what's this what's this this is loaded incorrectly uh give me a second <laughs> that hadn't loaded correctly because I fucked it up uh I need to quickly re-navigate to uh, the game directory. There we go. Packages, vehicles, C130, interior, content. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? It's the fucking plane. It's still in the game. It's not used anywhere in the final game, but it still exists. And this is like the first thing. Like, it's fucking insane to me that all of these assets are still here, right? This is from the first build of the game. Like, This all still exists in the game. This is from the from what from what I remember, this is from the first version of the game that they scrapped. And it's still here. For some reason. For some ungodly reason. All of it. And then you get this like low low poly thing, and then you get this and then that and then all this other stuff. We get like all these other parts of the plane. It's all still here. And then this is the last model. I don't know why this is still here. This should have been like deleted from the files so long ago, but it wasn't. And I don't understand why. It's it's still here. So yeah, that's that's still a thing. For some stupid reason, that is still a thing. Um, the rest of the files in here, I'm pretty sure, are actually used. Uh, plane opening movie, that's from the opening cinematic. Tarbus. Tarbus? I'm not actually sure what the Tarbus is. Yeah, it's really well detailed. I, I don't know why it's still there. Um, Tobus, this is probably used somewhere still, but I don't know where that would be used. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, it's just uh, that's why. But yeah, like, there is so much detail on all the parts of that plane, and it's like, why? 
there's also the, what you call it, C-130, just like outside it. This is just, I guess, the propellers. That's just a skydom. It's like a tarp. That's another bit of the tarp. That's another bit of tarp. There's the full exterior model of the plane. And there's another full exterior model of the plane with like the back part of it. Actually, that's a higher detail. Yeah, that's a higher poly version of it. A Taurus is a Taurus. Yeah, who'd have thought? But yeah, like, oh god, this is textures. Um, but yeah, like, it's. This is still in the game. <laughs> and keep in mind that, like, according to this, this was, like, one of the first things that they made and then they scrapped it and it was, like, it was too expensive. It was just impossible to make, like, this for so long. So yeah, that's this is the only information that we have on the first build of the game. The first, like, main version of the game. Um, because this carries on. Um, I remember it started in narrative style and set up the idea of what L Protocol was, but you're a burned agent. Um, yeah, it was just like... Bumby Lynchman 3 wasn't quite ready in 2006. Mm hmm. 2006. That is apparently when they started making this. This game came out in 2000 and. Uh, 2009 or 2010, I don't remember. So, yeah, it, it was in development for a while. And evidently, they started it in 2006. Uh, this, by the way, is Uli Bui, who this article misspells. Uh, this is a character that never appears in the final game. Uh, this is a character that was only in, uh, I believe, the second version of the story. And guess what? Guess what? If we go all the way down into the NPCs, uh, Uli Booly is actually Booly, not Booey. They misspelled her name in this article. Good article. Uh, they actually misspelled her name every single time uh, they wrote it in this article as well, so... Yeah, it's... <laughs> yeah, apparently she was actually um, like designed after somebody in the development team's wife, I think, who was also working on the game, but since then they've had some... I think it was like a divorce or some kind of like relationship trouble, so that's kind of awkward. But yeah, so Uli Bully, I don't know if this program has been updated since the last time I used it, which was like a year or two ago. There's a possibility that her textures won't be applied correctly. Just saying that, we'll see. Uh, yeah, they're not quite applied correctly. Um, but yeah, she is still in the game files. <laughs> Is is the same character still in the game files? Also, this was from the CIA build, which I will be referring to it as the CIA build for reasons that I'll explain very soon. But there's so many unused files in this game, and it's like without context, they don't make any sense. But with the context of everything that I've put together over the last, like, couple years. This is probably insane, by the way, because I'm probably, like, the person outside of the development, like, the only person outside of the development team that actually knows the most about this game, which is insane to me to think about, because I've learned so much over the last, like, two years about this, without even trying to. It's just been a thing of, like, so, so, why, so why was this like this? And then I was like, you know what, I might have a look into the game files. And then I found a huge trove of just random shit. And it's like, okay, this is bizarre. So then I asked the person who worked on the game about it. And I learned so much, so much, more than I ever wanted to know. So, so yeah, Uli Bully, still in the game files for some reason. Uh, the next one is probably sort of broken. Actually, the textures apply better now than they did before, because before the textures were way worse on this one. Yeah, this is a different model. And then that's textures. Okay. 
So, yeah. It's really bizarre. I don't know why this is still here. Um, yeah, the textures are being applied better now than they were before, but it gets better because then we can take a look over here. We can take a look at the music folder, right? We can take a look into the new and that's just a lot of file names that don't really mean anything, but hold on because I, I was able to piece together some other stuff. This is a pair of two folder, whoops, by looking in the game files before. I think I've lost, yeah, I never saved the uh the thing that I had thought because a few years ago I uh started documenting what every single map file actually was. So this is beginning one. Uh the I is intermission. Every area has an intermission except for endgame, I guess. Yeah, actually no endgame doesn't have an intermission because that's after the intermission stop. Um, actually, I don't think it stands for intermission. I think it stands for interview or something else. I don't actually remember, but these are basically just cutscenes in between certain sections. Um, and this is really telling by itself because if we go to beginning, we've got BO1, BO1, end game, we have EO1, EO2, EO3, EO5, EO6, EO8, we're missing two. Uh, Moscow, we go. M1, M2, M3, M5, we're missing four. M8, <laughs> we're missing six and seven. Uh, M9, M10, M11, M12. Uh, Rome is pretty much complete, I think. Rome actually has all of the missions for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, Saudi Arabia is one and two are missing. Six is missing. <laughs> okay. Type it is one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's a good amount of like missions that are missing from the game. And that obviously like paints a picture that there's some some stuff was changed around at some point in development. And well, well, we can we can figure that out, right? So I mean, we have the music files here, right? We can have a look at the music files. We can we can we can compare them. So we've got EO two, EO five, EO six, EO eight, EO two, EO five, EO six, EO eight. Okay, that's all of those are there. Uh, let's have a look at Moscow. Sure, Moscow M O one. Uh, crap. I should probably just do that so it's a bit easier to compare them. MO1, not there, but MO2, MO3, MO5, MO8, MO9, M10, M11, M12. Okay. Uh, what about Rome? Rome 3, Rome 6, Rome 7, Rome 8, Rome 11, Rome 13. Okay. Uh, Saudi. We have Saudi 3, Saudi 4, Saudi 5, Saudi Six. We don't have that map, but it exists in the music. Uh, Saudi seven, Saudi eight, Saudi nine, Saudi ten, Saudi eleven. There isn't even eleven. <laughs> there isn't even an eleven here. So there were two more missions in Saudi, evidently. Uh, type M. What about type M? Two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Yeah, they're all there. That's actually all of them, it looks like. Uh Yeah, that that looks like that's all of them, actually. Uh I think there were more than that though. Unless I'm mistaken, but I might be mixing that up with something else. I might be mixing that up with something else. But then there's also uh VO, there's all this VO stuff. Uh, dialogues. You know, there's dialogue. We've got APO1, APO2, APO8. Wait, APO8? Wait, APO1, APO2? Wait, but there's no AP. There's not Unless that's like these ones, but these are just generic files. We'll get back to that. Uh, BO1. This is all the actual stuff. EO2. 
yeah, you know, for a, you know, for... I guess you know, for is, that's Albatross, so that's... Uh, that's gonna be actually an alternate scene in EO3, I think. It's gonna be an alternative to something in EO3, is what EO2 will be. Um, IMO1, IMO2. IMO1, IMO2. That's in Saudi, isn't it? No? No? You know what? I have... Oh no, it'll be IM, so it's IM. Yeah, IM. That's... Intermission Moscow, yeah. Oh, sorry, interrogation, Moscow. I keep calling it intermission because that's just what my mind thinks it is, but it's interrogation. It's whatever, same thing. Uh, Moscow, what else is in Moscow? What, which ones are we missing in Moscow? Thar, is the one for Thar? No. Uh, six, seven? No. Because of course there isn't. You know, those files aren't in the game anymore. That's fine. Doesn't need to be there. Uh, MSO2, I don't think that's anywhere. I think so. Uh, but then we can keep going. We have our P. I'm not sure what that is actually. That looks like that's probably all used somewhere. And Darcy. I'm trying to think if that would be used anywhere. Probably. SO3. Oh, look, we're in Saudi again. So. SO3. A lot of SO3. SO4. There's a lot of SO4. SO5. SO6. But. There's no SO6. Uh, Parker. Pa Does Parker even have a mission in Saudi? No. No, Parker doesn't have a mission in Saudi. I don't think I actually found these files last time I was looking. Uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, if I did, I didn't, like, think about that anywhere. No, Parker doesn't have a mission in Saudi, so there's no reason why Parker should have dialogue in Saudi. That's interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to t uh, actually check those files at some point, or so I'm gonna cover up her face again because it unsettles me. Uh, yeah, that's... I'm gonna have to check that because I don't know what it's about. Uh, nine... And it just ends, I guess. S10 is like something else. TO3. I'm not sure what TO3 is. That'll be type A. Yeah. TO3. TO4, TO5. D choice. That might be something to do with TO4. Then it's probably just something related to TO4, if I had to guess. Uh, T11, Song's Beach. TP13. I know it because there's TP07 and there's also T07. I don't know what's going on with that, but then there's also TP13, which is <laughs> Type A13, but there's no Type A12. Uh, huh. Favor Scar, that might be. No, no, I have no clue what that would be either. So yeah, there's there's a few there's a few sound files there, but then there's also up here. We have all these AP files. <laughs> you know, what are these AP files about? Because there's so many of them, right? We have FB2, FB1, DSS1, DLG Mina, DLG FB2, Debrief, BO1, BO3. This is why, and this is insane, this is why I refer to the second version as the CIA build. Because I'm pretty sure, from what I remember, all of these AP files are unused files that were recorded for the second version of the game that ca that they never released. All of them. Every single one of them. And that might sound ridiculous that there are this many unused audio files for a version of the game that never came out, but I'm pretty sure it's true, from what I remember anywhere. So let's just click on this one, AP01. Never mind, that didn't work. I think I actually have to extract it. Uh, give me a sec. So, can I just... I might actually have to export it, yeah. Okay, cool. So we'll export that. Uh, I don't remember how exactly to export that. It's been way too long and I didn't mess around with this tool before I downloaded it. So, 
Uh, where is it? UV viewer. Exported. Okay. Yeah, let's just... Okay, export it. Let's have a look. Documents. Uh, where is it? UE viewer. Exported. Didn't export. I must have done something wrong. I don't actually remember how this works, so give me a second. That didn't work either. <laughs> not sure why that's not working. Uh, is it SQ? No. This works. I don't know. Unless that exported to the assets folder, which is a possibility, which it... I think that just exported all of the audio in the game. Uh, I think that just exported literally everything, but they're still in new PK files. Uh, it's been a while since I did this. I'm not actually sure how to uh, export these as... I, I know I did it before, but I don't remember how how I export these. I might need another program for it, actually. Uh, I do not remember. No, I don't remember. I swear this program did it last time I did it, but maybe it didn't. Uh, give me a second as I quickly look this up. Uh, <laughs> Sky will... Okay, so yeah, it's UE Viewer. Yeah, I need UE Viewer, that's right. Uh, Unreal Model Viewer, that's what I'm using. Okay, yeah, I just wanna I just wanna know how to do it. Uh yeah, the only required files are yeah, I'm, I I know I have the program. <laughs> uh create a folder dedicated to the tool, I've already done that. Copy and paste the useful into the game folder. I don't wanna do that, that's stupid. I've already got it running anyway, just tell me how to do it. Simply load the game folder directory. I've already done that. <sighs> just tell me how to extract it. Jesus Christ, this is way too long. Uh uh. Okay, I think I've done it wrong is the problem. So I want to do control, uh, I want to uh, redo export to this folder. That is correct, but I'm doing this wrong. Um, yeah, I think I want to, I think what I want to do is, give me a second, sorry. Uh, right, I want to delete that packages thing again because I, uh, I don't, I don't need it. No, no, I don't need it. Uh, okay, so I think what I did wrong was I had it set up wrong. I need to relaunch it with just path to game files. Uh, where, where is it? Where is it? Off protocol, epi game. That is correct, I believe. So I want to disable everything. Export only classes sound. Yeah, I just want to disable all of those. Because the only thing I care about is sound. That's it. Uh, I think I did that wrong. <laughs> I think I directed it to the wrong thing. Uh, great. Maybe I didn't actually. Maybe what I want to do is do it the way that I just did it. AP game. PC? Is that... Maybe that is right. But yeah, I want to export sound. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm doing that wrong. A protocol, AP gun. Sound. Why can't I find the thing anymore? It's because I'm an idiot and I just deleted the packages file. Yeah, what the fuck am I doing? Hold on. <laughs> right. 
I'm an idiot, so I've got to wait a bit longer. Give it a second. Uh, but yeah, like, I can't believe I fucked that up. But yeah, there are so many, like, unused sound files here that it's honestly insane. And they basically tell a completely different story for the game. And, like, the story progresses completely differently. The, um, characters are completely different. Uh, there's actually some, like, really good voice acting in it from what I heard. Like, there's, uh, there's, like, a voice line where, um, Michael Thornton, the main character, is, like, I, I just, he's like, he has this whole thing of like, I just, I just killed a guy. I actually just killed a guy. I, what have I done? And it's like, it's, the, the way I'm describing it there is like, kind of crappy, but like the actual like voice acting behind, like the line sounds really good. <laughs> like probably better than some of the lines in the final game. And it's just like, this is such a good story. Like, I, I really want to know where that story would have gone. Because that original version of the story, or the second version of the story, I guess, um, the CIA version of the story, I don't know what the plain version would have been, but the CIA version of the story is so much more interesting than what I think we got in the final game. Maybe I'm wrong though, maybe it isn't actually more interesting and maybe that version of the story was worse, but I couldn't tell you. So. I couldn't tell you because we never got that version of the game and the only files we have related to that game are leftover audio files that they apparently never deleted. So thanks. Thanks for that, but also I'm disappointed that we didn't get to play that version of the game. Um, yeah, 2000 files failed to validate because I'm an idiot. <laughs> that's 4.8 gigabytes. Fuck, that's gonna take a while. Yeah, I'm I'm an idiot. I didn't mean to do that. Uh in the meantime though, I guess there is like APO seven and APO two here. We can probably listen to these. Uh Yeah, we can probably listen to these at the very least. Uh see what these actually are. Uh sound node wave. Look at all of these dog files. They are taking a while to load. That is what on what on earth is happening? Uh <laughs> there we go. AP07 DSS1. There's a lot of these. Uh there's also a DLG secretary. Wav. Which I have this funny feeling that these aren't actually going to be .wav files and they're going to be .dog files instead. I have just this funny feeling that these aren't actually going to be .wav files. If it wants to stop crashing, that would be greatly appreciated. I'll just keep crashing. I, I don't care anywhere, you know, that's fine. Yeah, I've got to wait for that to finish, so... I've got to wait for that to finish downloading before I can do anything else because I'm an idiot and accidentally deleted the package's files. Um, but yeah. Close that. This is actually just crashing on me. That's insane. That actually crashed Explorer. Okay, great. Uh, documents. UE viewer, let's try that again. Yeah, they're OG files as well. It says wave, but they're OG. Uh, so APO2 secretary. There's a lot of these. I don't know what these are for. Uh, APO2 DLG West brief. That'll be Westridge. That'll be Westridge giving a debriefing and it crashed again. Apparently Windows cannot handle a large amount of files in one folder. Thanks, Windows. Uh, oh, there we go. That's actually not that many. APO2 Westridge debriefing. 
if it wants to actually load, that would be really cool, but I don't think it's going to. I also need to wait for that to finish re-downloading. <laughs> Fucking hell, I can't believe I did that. I got very confused and deleted the wrong thing, it's my bad, but... Has this, cra has this crashed again? Fucking kidding me, I just want to open the exported files and have a look. So, from what I remember, some of... whoops, uh, some of these uh, will be placeholder files. Uh, what I mean by that is that some of them will be voiced by text-to-speech, and some of them will be voiced by, presumably, random Obsidian employees because they didn't want to, like, pay anyone to, like, do the voice acting at the time because they didn't, like, have the story finalised yet. I don't know which ones of these are going to be, like, out of these files are going to be like that. I think Secretary might be text-to-speech. Westridge to be debriefing might be as well, but I don't know. Because it's been a while since I've gone through these files myself, so I don't remember exactly. I think most of these ones might be, like, placeholder as well. We'll find out. These are APO7. We'll see. We'll see what APO7 is. Uh, let's, let's have a listen together. Let's see if we can piece to the pieces together. So APO7 is, from what I remember, further along in the story. This is only three seconds. The living room's through there. Try to run and I'll tie you to a post outside. Okay, so that's the voice act that's actually the voice actor for Mike. So that is a final voice line. The living room's through there. Try to run and I'll tie you to a post outside. As to what that would be used for, I have literally no fucking clue. Um Right. Uh oh one A. This is also three seconds. The living room's through there. Try to run and I'll tie you to a post outside. It's the same but slightly different. So I'm going to ignore the A ones because they're just like slightly different versions of them. What about Earth 3? This one's also two seconds. I just want to lie down. Somebody wants to lie down. He's going to tie somebody to a post. It, this is good. We're getting some plot development, right? We're, we're figuring some stuff out. We're figuring out how the plot would have developed. I don't know. I don't know what this is about yet, so we'll see. Westridge, brought a guest home. Hope you don't mind. So, so this is actually something very important. In, and I, I can't really show this yet because obviously I'm still waiting for the files to redownload because I'm stupid. But there is one very, very cool distinction between the CIA story and the final story. So. Slight spoilers here for anyone who hasn't played past, who hasn't played the game at all, or hasn't played past the first part of the game for some reason. The way that the story goes is, uh, Mike wakes up in Alpha Protocol. Alpha Protocol is the name of the organization. That is what it is in the final game. Um, while going through, he meets Westridge, Parker, Mina, and. The other guy that I forget the name of, Darcy, that's it. Um, <laughs> I always forget Darcy's name because he's such an asshole, but yeah, Darcy. Um, I don't know if Darcy's actually in these early versions or not, but we'll see. If we find any files related to him, that is. Um, so you go through the tutorial, which is the training in Alpha Protocol, and then you get sent to Saudi. And then in Saudi, you just do some missions and then it turns out Alpha Protocol sent missiles to you and they're trying to like clean everything up and now you're a rogue agent. Cool, cool, cool setup for a story. But in this original story, it turns out that from all the files that I've listened to so far, the original setup was that Mike and Westridge would have been like, it would have been like a buddy cop thing. And Westridge would have been there with you for like the first part of the game at least. So this voice line here. Westridge, brought a guest home. Hope you don't mind. 
seemingly implies with the other voice lines, the other two voice lines that we heard, that Mike has probably kidnapped someone who is somehow related to whatever was going on in the plot and brought him to Westridge, uh, at wherever the safe house is. So that's the story so far. Uh, I actually never found these voice lines before, so this is really cool to me. Um, but yeah, so Westridge and Mike were in an earlier version of the story in like a buddy cop sort of scenario. Um, and it's actually really cool because there's, I'll probably find these voice lines later, but um, there are some voice lines for a cut like mission, which is just presumably a cut scene, but it's basically Westridge is in like an inter- from what I can tell from the voice lines, Westridge is interrogating somebody. Um, and Mike is like telling him how to handle the situation. So you're in so you're telling Westridge like how to handle the interrogation. Um and there's like different like responses that you can choose, like uh like sort of like an aggressive or like sort of more calm approach to it. And Westridge just does it, he doesn't give a fuck, he just does whatever you tell him to do. But like it's such a cool dynamic that it would have originally been not just Mike doing whatever the fuck. It would have started out with Mike and Westridge investigating something together as members of the CIA, because in this version of the story, Alpha Protocol wasn't the organisation. The organisation that they were part of was the CIA, which is why I'm calling it the CIA. The reason I know it's the CIA is because there's a voice line that I'll probably find later that says according to the CIA. So, like, do you know about the idea? Okay, this is actually really cool as well. The original reason, because obviously the organisation back then wasn't called Alpha Protocol, so why was the game called Alpha Protocol? There is a voice line, we'll get to it later, but it's the same one that I just mentioned, but basically someone is on the phone telling Mike after something just went wrong, we'll get to that later because that's really it, like that sets up the rest of the story that we don't know about. Um, but basically, someone's on the phone with Mike and they tell him, uh, like, so this this has happened, blah blah blah. Do you know the do you know what Alpha Protocol is? And Mike and then I I don't remember if it's Mike that says it or if the woman on the phone says it, but they explain it as it's when an agent in the CIA uh has to act on the run or something like that. It's it's something like that. So basically, Alpha Protocol was the status that Mike was in back in the second version of the story, and maybe in the first version of the story as well, but I don't know about that really, because the only thing I know about that is the plane scene that I mentioned earlier. The plane assets are left in the game files, we've been over that. Um but yeah, so the story was originally completely different and in my opinion, kind of more interesting, but wait, because there's, there's more. Westridge, I jumped out of a plane for this guy. Least you could do is hold open the door. Maybe these files are related to the plane scene then. Hmm. Maybe I don't know. I'm not hundred percent sure on that. I know there is like a plane section, and spoiler. In this version of the story, Parker would have died to terrorists. <laughs> yep. Uh, but unless these files are like from the first version of the game, that would be weird if there were like files from both versions of the game left over. That would be super bizarre. But, ah, oh, okay. Westridge, got our man. All you now. Okay, so we've got somebody. Westridge? Westridge? Plane ride catch up with you? What? Yeah, this doesn't really make a lot of sense without all the other voice lines and everything, but... What the... What the... Westridge! Oh, that's a very angry Westridge. Is this actually the build... Oh, are these the voice lines that build up to what happened? That what happened? Time for answers. Time for answers. Never mind. Uh, we're jumping all over the place. We might not know. Park 
Parker, you're in a world of shit right now. Tell me everything you know, and maybe, just maybe, you won't spend the rest of your life being bought and sold for cigarettes. The fuck? Okay, so... So Parker isn't dead in this, in this story. Parker, you're in a world of shit right now. Tell me everything you know, and maybe, just maybe, you won't spend the rest of your life being bought and sold for cigarettes. Okay, so Parker isn't dead here. So this is either before he died, or this is... from a different version of the story where he doesn't die. What's this one? Oh, uh, uh. That sounds like Parker, actually. Keep it together, Parker. Tell me everything you know about this nuke in Moscow. I'm sorry, the nuke in Mo- What? Okay, right. In the final game, there is a... It's not even a nuke. In the final game, there's a bomb in... Is that a nuke? It might have been a nuke, actually, like a small nuke, but I swear it was just like a bomb, not a nuke. In the final game, there's a bomb in a museum in Rome. But here there's a nuke in Moscow! <laughs> what? Keep it together, Parker. Tell me everything you know about this nuke in Moscow. I'm so glad that you left these voice lines in, because this is crazy to, like, hear this different version of the story. Nuke? What? What? Nuke? I never heard of a nuke until today! Okay, so Parker in this version had nothing to do with Alpha Protocol or the CIA, then. Alpha Protocol slash the CIA, because they were- they changed their position, but- Well, you're not nervous about global warming, what do you know? Well, they really changed Parker's character then. Money. It was, it was a lot of money. It was a lot of money. You better start telling me what you're involved in right goddamn now. Okay. I'm curious. That, I'm so disappointed that these are the only sound files we have because it only tells so much of the story. Oh, uh, guns. Oh, jeez, jeez. It looked like I, I, I don't know. I was just... Yeah, they really change Parker's character. He's like super cold and calculated in the final game. Here he's just like typical nerdy scientist that just Just what? Tell me about the nuke. Doesn't really know what's going on. Nuke? What? Nuke? I don't know anything about a nuke. <laughs> oh, this is great though. Hearing this like completely different characterization of Parker. Then what do you know? These are the same voice lines again, but I think we're really done. Uh, la, la, is, 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 is the, the gun really necessary? This is so bizarre. Talk. Talk. That's the voice line. That's it. That's the full voice line. Okay, I, I was just hiding the money, okay? I, well, I took some of it. Okay, that's, that's all I know. So Parker was stealing money and was like involved in some kind of transaction to do with a nuke? I- what? Look, I know you've been through a lot, but you need to tell me what you're caught up in right now. Do you understand? Okay, so are we about to get some answers on what's actually going on? The torture. Oh, and the plane. Uh, and the body. Is this- Parker still? Maybe, maybe Parker wouldn't have died then. Because I was told that Parker died on the plane, but maybe it was possible that he couldn't die. Maybe it was possible to save him on the plane. Hey. Hey. Stay with me, Parker. Come on. Give me something I can use. Tell me about this nuke. I don't know. Maybe he dies after you get him off the plane. Maybe that's what happens. Nuke? I don't know anything about a, a nuke. Why, did, why does everybody keep saying that? <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, you know something. Uh, 
I did it for the money, embezzlement. Corporate fraud, maybe. Uh, uh, that's all I thought it was. So he did something with a nuke for money embezzlement. What the fuck is this story? Okay. Right. I, I feel as if I'm more confused now than I was before. What money? Yeah, what money? Well, where is this money coming from? What is the story here? I'm... I'm, 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 I'm good with money. Look, I can move it around without anyone noticing a thing. I mean, make it untraceable. Oh, is this a choice where you would have been given extra money if you did something? Moving it for who, Parker? Oh, no. Maybe not. Maybe the, maybe the shop system wasn't in the game at this point, actually. Leyland. Leyland. Oh, Leyland was still a character. When? And I'm guessing, okay, so I'm guessing Halbeck played the same sort of role. A few months ago, he asked me to start moving money into foreign accounts. Hundreds of millions. I mean, look, he didn't ask questions when I, well, I, I, I skimmed off the top, and, and, and I didn't ask questions as to where I was going. I, I never thought I'd... Okay. Uh... Parker, come on. Leyland, money trail, going where? Focus! <laughs> where is the money? Tell me. Okay, I, 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 I was going to go to the US government with it right after Saudi Arabia. Look, I, I swear, I... <laughs> yeah, so the, the locations that you went to in the early like, stories were still the same. It was still Rome, Taipei, Moscow and Saudi. That was like always the same, is what, I'm, is what I know. But the actual like story in those areas was different, evidently, because apparently there's a nuke in Moscow, which doesn't happen in the final game. Um, yeah, that was completely different. The money trail, Parker. Where was the money going? So there's a money trail. Look at me. I'm a wreck. I have been a wreck. You can't move that much money and not wonder what you've gotten into, huh? I mean, the money's not enough anymore. I'm nervous. I, I, I can't sleep. I get stomach pains. It's, it's killing me. I mean, this was supposed to be it. I backed up a list with every detail to plea bargain. Uh, here, look. So does that mean Parker is actually part of Halbeck in this version? Is that... In the CIA version, was Parker part of Halbach? Okay, now in Rome, someone important has a... In Rome, someone important has a... SHIT! Someone important has a shit. Okay, good to know. I can't stay pinned down in here forever. If Westridge is still here, I have to move out and find him. Okay. So evidently, there was something going on there. DLG secretary. Is this the one that I think it is? We'll find out. Help you. Oh, this is the text-to-speech one. Yeah, so this is placeholder stuff, then. Sure, I. Sure, I. Yeah, I don't really want to listen to these because they won't be super interesting because it's just text-to-speech, like, placeholder random voice lines, but... Yes. Well, 66. Let's just open some random ones and just see if there's anything, like, interesting in them. If I don't get in there now, you never who they might send later to fix it, and I just happen to be the best. Okay, that's... We, that sounds like that might be a line from Mike, actually, not a secretary, but... Yeah, I have this work order. Can I just borrow that pen? Okay, I, I don't understand what's going on with that. Yeah, it's just secretary voice lines. Um, about Westridge debrief. Let's have a listen. Not bad. These are still... <laughs> These are still text-to-speech. That Thornton kid's good, huh? That Thornton kid's good, huh? Just tell me we found something. Yeah, so this was obviously before they got the voice actors in. As a matter of fact. As a matter of fact. What's 22? 
I had no reason to think you would. Yeah, so these aren't super interesting. I think we're kind of like at the end of... Like... Great. When do we leave? When do we leave? Yeah, we're kind of at the end of like these files, so there's not really much else I can do. I've just got to wait for this to finish. Um, but yeah, it's super fascinating that like there's this many voice lines here just for like Parker. There's a nuke in Rim, a nuke in Moscow. That's that's super interesting to know about because that's that's completely different from the final game. In the final game, there's no nuke in Moscow. I don't think so. Anyway, off the top of my head, there's no nuke in Moscow. It was just like, uh, stuff was being moved through Moscow. I'm pretty sure, because the, there was there was a bomb in Rome, but not Moscow. And then these are just like generic text speech things. So yeah. We're just gonna wait for this to finish. There's not really much I can do, to be honest. So, um, uh, I wonder if I can actually. You know what? I wonder if uh maps we can actually take a look at the maps. So let's have a look at like Saudi Saudi or free. That is a texture. These are textures, that's not what I want. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's possible to load these then. Uh, probably not. SD? No. PLT, that'll be like... Uh... KM? Yeah, no. There's no way to like load the maps from that. Oh. Well. Yeah, I feel like an idiot for deleting the wrong files, but if I open safe house common. Yeah, so it can open the map files. Right. That's a shame. Sean Darcy trash can. I don't know what that is. <laughs> don't really want to know what that is, to be honest. Uh, if we go lock interior, don't know what that is either. Don't really care either. Uh, yeah, I'm literally just waiting for this. Um, that's my bad. I shouldn't delete the files. I'm an idiot. I know. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, let's open Looking Zero. It's nothing. Okay. Yeah, there's not really anything else here then. MP06. MP06. Hold on. MP MP06? What is MP? Is that Moscow? Even if that's Moscow, there's no mission for that. Okay, now I have to find out what this is. Hold on a second. Just stumbled into something else. Hold up. That gives us something to do while we're waiting for that because that's sound files, so I can export those. Uh, that's... This could be interesting. This actually could be super interesting, depending on uh, what these files actually are. 
RP002 DLG post exchange. That's something different as well. MP06. RP002. Oh, so many files in there. That's going to crash Explorer again, isn't it? It's going to make it go really slow for some reason. I don't know why it does that. Uh, right. Post exchange. I don't know what these are. Um, MP06. What's this one as well? Working on it. You better work on it faster because I have no clue what this is. MP06. Again, the only thing I can think of is that this is this is Moscow. This is Moscow six, but there's no files for Moscow six in the like maps folder. MP O six C O one Embassy. So this is the embassy. This is the embassy. That can't be right. Sergey Surkov. This is the embassy. This is the cutscene in the embassy. Huh, that's MP06. The one and only. That's a really raspy voice, holy crap. Mr. Thornton, I sincerely appreciate your help, but I'm afraid I can't go with you. Is that actually the same voice? That isn't the same voice actor. That can't be the same voice actor. That doesn't sound right. You have my gratitude. Feel free to drop by any time. That sounds like a different voice actor, because the one in the final game is like he's a Russian. He's like that doesn't sound like a grab like a Russian voice. That sounds. Despite my reputation, I'm a man of my word. That doesn't sound right. That's a different voice actor. That has to be. That's a damn sporting offer. But how do I know once you walk out of here, you don't become invisible? I think they may have done a different voice actor. Uh. Mr. Thornton, I sincerely appreciate your help, but I'm afraid I can't go with you. Huh. A gunboat diplomat, huh? I think the, like, voice lines from Mike are, like, the same, but... Sergei's lines Listen, sound different. I have different. an idea of why you need to talk to me and who you might be working for, and you can understand why I might have to decline under the circumstances. But I pay my debts, Mr. Thornton. You come by my office and we'll discuss whatever's on your mind in a safe and friendly environment. No, that is absolutely a different line. That is not a line that he says in the final game. And it's a different voice actor. I don't know if this is just... I don't know if this is just like an early like voice actor or what, but, or if this is like from a different version, but... What's your name? What's your name? Have us out in a sec, Sarkov. We're at the exit, ready for the pickup. Have us out in a sec. This is super bizarre to me. Lead the way, kind Samaritan. Yeah, no, that is absolutely a different voice actor. Holy crap. I can get you out of here. That is so weird. Uh, and then RPO00. The thing that I'm worried about is that this is going to be placeholder lines as well, for whatever this is. This is the place. Make yourself at home. That is a placeholder. Um, this is the place, make yourself at... So is this for an earlier version of the story where... Mike and Westridge would have finally gone, would have like arrived at their safe house. Is that what these lines are for? I just want to lie down. This sounds like they're at like a safe house somewhere. Can I get you some coffee or something? RP00. I'm not sure what that would even be. Rum?
rum. Probably rum. Rum. See, rum. Some. I don't know what the P stands for. Is the problem. Um. Rum something zero zero DLG. I don't know what that stands for either. Post exchange. I don't know what that is. I make it. I make it. Mike, how did it go? Mike, how did it go? She's here with me. Wow, Mike, she's right there. I. I'm. I feel like listening to all of these wouldn't really help because I don't know what the context is, but. Be careful. That's a great voice line. I'm so glad I skipped to that one. Uh. What about 74? I feel like skipping around to the end is probably better because I'll actually get some information out of it, but. Oh, that's done re-downloading. Great. I can actually extract the files properly now. That's reassuring. That's reassuring. I'm clicking on all the worst ones. This is really dumb. Shouldn't be a problem. Just remember what I told you. I don't know what you told me. Uh, okay. So, right, that's done downloading, so... I can actually just do this properly now. Common off protocol AP again. Packages, because I've got it back again, because I'm not an idiot this time. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to extract all of the uh WAV ones. Because these are all the ones that are going to have cool stuff in them that we'll actually care about. Uh, for the sake of this, anyway. There's DSS1. Wav, Wav, DSS4. Wav, Wav. Leyland. There's some Leyland. AP08. Export. So yeah, now we're gonna get like deep into the uh, the unused sound files. There are a lot of them. Most of them we probably are just gonna skim over because most of them aren't super interesting. So AP01, B01. This is gonna crash, isn't it? Because it keeps crashing for some reason. Uh, while we're here, by the way, let's let's export this one. Boss temp <laughs> music. Boss temp FC01. What's this? It's the final countdown. Um, so yeah, this was legitimately something they were considering for the Breaker boss fight. Uh, it gets better though, because if I then go back to... Uh, I don't actually know which one it is. If I just extract Moscow uh, webs, it might be in there. Uh, Moscow Labs. Sound node. This is... Gonna go really slowly for some reason. Music Uli Sex. Well, there's a sound file that you'll never hear in the final game, except I think that actually does play in the final game. It's just it doesn't play... Because obviously Uli was removed from the story. Uh, let's, let's listen to it, because this is, this is a music file, so... Yeah, I think that does play somewhere in the game. I recognise it vaguely. So they re- they must have repurposed it after... 
Uli was cut from the game. Which is interesting. Uh, what else do we have? Music mini boss, Synth X. Uh, okay. Temp Mus Moscow. So I've listened to this one. Why not? This actually sounds pretty good, to be honest. It definitely has a different sort of tone to the rest of the music in the game, though. Uh, right, so, okay. Music Boss V1. M11. I'm guessing this is the Breaker boss fight. No, no, that's not the Breaker boss fight. No, not at all. Uh, boss V2. <laughs> They actually made two versions of it and left them both in the game, that's amazing. Um, look at this, it's more Final Countdown stuff. <laughs> Final Countdown affected intro, affected loop. There's also Safe House V1 and Safe House V2. I think the strings are louder than they are in the final, because that sounds really obnoxious. Yeah, that sounds really obnoxious. Uh, what's Safe House V2? Yeah, there's no strings! They removed the strings! literally like the only thing they did, they just removed the strings. Yeah, I'm glad they did that because that was really obnoxious to listen to. That was... they made the right call on that one. Uh, MC Action Live V1. Sis Battle Techno. <laughs> M11 Music, Arcade 1, Arcade 2. Six, this must be the Breaker level then because it has the arcade um. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? What is this? Okay, this is not what I thought this was. Um... Great though. Uh... Okay, right. I I don't understand what that is or what that was used for, but I can only assume that's for the breaker level. That's really obnoxious. Okay, that one's not as fun to listen to. What was that on? No, this must be the breaker level. This must be the breaker mansion level. M11, mini boss simvex. But there's no. Oh my god, these are stems for the mini boss music. Holy shit. Yeah, there's no mini boss in that level though. Unless this is Unless this is the one where you go after Sergei, but I don't know. Breaker Duran full. I don't know if this is used either. It might be, it probably is.
And there's also Boriko Simple Bowl. <laughs> oh my god! That's like one step removed from being copyright infringing. Holy shit, that's so good. Uh, right, so M11 is what I was wanting to have a look at, right? Because I think, <sighs> judging from these, this has to be the breaker level. But I don't know. Export. Let's have a listen. Let's have a look. We'll have a look real quick. Yeah. It is like Broker Intro, Arcade 1. Does Arcade 1 actually play in the arcade then? It must do. This sounds different actually, this is Villard. Yeah, this is Villard this time though. Okay, so they, they, they changed it a bit. Battle to Courtyard. Breaker intro. <laughs> this is not Breaker's boss theme. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a completely different song. Uh, A's intro loop. Yeah, I've, I've looked into this before. This is a completely different song. This isn't actually Broco's boss theme. But we could just listen to the full song as well. This is probably going to get the stream copyrighted, but fuck it. This is the actual boss theme. Yeah, this is the actual boss theme right here. Yeah, this is the actual boss theme. But for some reason, where is it then? Because I know I, I I know there was the full song somewhere in the game files, but I don't know where it is. Because that's a different song. Yeah, that breakout intro is actually a different song. But I don't know where it is in the game files, so... Moscow... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Grigori Baffle... No, 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 no. Uh, maybe it's in like one of the other files. Maybe it was originally in a different level. I don't know. Let's have a look at M10. Serkov kill. You can't kill Serkov. Unless that's like a fail singer for like if Sarkov dies, but yeah, you can't kill Sarkov, so I don't know what that's about. M12? Not what I'm looking for. M09. Intro loop. <laughs> What is this one? I don't know. Join part two? I don't know what that is. Uh, M O A. I know that the full song is somewhere in there, but I don't remember where it is exactly. Because I know I found it before, but is it Music Global? Might be Music Global, actually. I'll we'll look in there, and if it's not in there, then I'll move on to the actual like interesting stuff. But yeah, so the these older like music themes were because they were trying to find, they were trying to decide on music for the Breaker fight, 
and it took them a while to actually like decide on what they wanted. Uh, Run 11 Marburg Alliance. For whom the belt- I'm sorry, what? <laughs> As in... As in, it's just a bell. Never mind. It's just uh, somebody was having a lot of fun when they named that file. Uh, Marburg Alliance. I don't know what this one is. Yeah, because I... <sighs> you don't make an alliance with Marburg in Rome. Either he leaves, or you kill him. <laughs> you don't make an alliance with him. That's not something you can do. Tap here, Rev1. Moscow, Rev1. But yeah, so every area obviously has its own stinger, apparently. Um, which makes sense. Uh, I wonder if it's in dialogues, actually. In which case it'll be Rome 10. Rome 10 is not here. Unless it's RP, 10, DSS, blah blah blah. No, that sounds stupid, it won't be that. Because <laughs> that's dialogues, why would it be in there? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where it is. Uh, it's also worth noting that there are two two things here. Actually, there's three things here. There's Music Saudi, Music S Arabia, and Music SA. There are three things for Saudi, for some reason. Um. Let's export all of them. Why not? Uh, music SA. What's in SA? Music 007 temp. Wait a second. Isn't that one of the levels that doesn't exist? Or am I misremembering? Uh, fuck. I've lost it now because it's gone to the wrong place. Off protocol. AP game. Quickly say maps. Saudi Arabia, S07. No, but this is SA Music 07. So this is something different. What the fuck? <laughs> uh. This is not what I was expecting. Okay, uh, highly unusual, not what I was expecting from that at all. S-Arabia, we have S-Arabia. Uh, and hey look at that, SO5, SO7, we have SO6 files. Upload countdown, Halbeck. Apparently there was going to be something to do with Halbeck and uploading files in Saudi. There's also SO2, DSS. We don't have SO2. SO2 is also missing. Uh, so this would have been the song in SO2, I guess. Whatever SO2 would have been. Yeah, so whatever SO2 would have been, that would have been it. Uh, there's also so many variations of the safe house that I don't even know where to begin. Um, SO4 launch missile. Uh, oh yeah, that'll be the mission, the mission where you thingy. Guard escort infiltrate. Yeah, it'll be that one. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, base for combat, get to landing. G get to landing? That doesn't make sense. Oh, is that the 
health one, not the health one, the self, blah, 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 the compound one with the that might be, uh, that'll be the compound one with the sandstorm. So that'll be when the helicopter arrives, I think, at the end. I've got a tower location, maybe, yeah. But then we have SO6, and SO6 doesn't exist. So now we have something new. So we have Combat VAR1. Which sounds the same as every other Saudi combat theme. Uh, this might actually just be generic Saudi stuff then. Maybe. I don't know about this one. I... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't know if I've heard that one. How about Glam? That Combat VAR one, though, is definitely, like, reused for a Mercer Saudi. I don't know what this one is. This might just be a stealth thing. This sounds like a stealth thing, maybe. What about Upload Countdown? This is definitely never used. This sounds awful. Uh, oh my god, that sounds so bad. Yeah, the, the instruments there sound garbage, but I can see what they're going for. Yeah, so that's definitely not used. That one is definitely unique. Uh, 809... Yeah, so these ones are all are all used then. Uh, Graveyard Singer, Sniper Loop, Shade Fight... Halbeck VAR1. So ev evidently there would have been something in Saudi where you would have done something with Halbeck. This sounds really different from like anything else in the game. Yeah, that sounds really different. Albeck Tech? What's this one? The same thing. But missing some of the instruments. <laughs> um, so almost the same thing, but not quite. Uh, yeah. Which is kind of cool. And then you get Music Saudi, which is like... A P. Wait, AP? Ooh, okay, so now we're back into early stuff. Now we're back into files from when the game was still in its second iteration. Right? So we have AP02 Atrium. So we can see here that AP01 would have had some kind of combat going on, some kind of stuff like that going on. First kill, would have had a first kill song for when you f kill your first person, which there are voice lines for that. Um, there actually are voice lines for that, and it's pretty decently voice acted, in my opinion. Um, suspense, Atrium is APO2. Uh, cover, there's an elevator, there's a hag. Cool stuff. Oh, it's sneaky at that point, I guess. Um, APO3 is an airbase. That would have presumably where the plane scene would have taken place. Actually, no, because I, I think I was told that that's not actually where that happened. I think it, the, no, because as I said before, I think the plane scene was actually the first version, which is why I referred to it as the plane build earlier. Sorry, I'm getting mixed up. Oh, it's all of it in music. Really janky elevator music. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so we get APO3, which is action, airbase, discovery, graveyard. So the, the plane, the plane graveyard, I guess. So similar to the mission in the final game. Uh, APO5, airfield jeep, airfield fight, airfield music terror, CQC, outro, jump, terrorist jump, fall to death. 
Maybe there was something in a plane? I don't know. Parachute fight? Presumably these were from the, like, original plane thing. APO8 swooshes, tech success, tents, combos, action, stuff like that. So we can, we can get a feel for like the music that would have played and stuff like that, but now we have all the actual voice lines. So APO1, B1, so beginning one. So we're at the very start. We're at the very start of the story, I guess. This is like, I guess one of the first voice lines in the game. Everyone okay here? I guess one of the first voice lines following the intro, I guess. Because <laughs> there would have probably been an intro before this. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's Parker again. So Parker's back. At this point, I guess Parker hadn't gotten done anything so the What's going on? Is it safe? So there seems to be a hostage situation of some kind, evidently, from the from the voice lines. Mike is, at this point, a CIA agent, because Alpha Protocol doesn't exist in this version of the story. Don't worry. I'll get you out of here. Just stay close. Actually, I wonder if the other voice lines we heard about Parker having something to do with Nuke. I wonder if that was maybe the first version of, like, the plane, the plane fight that we read about earlier. Anyway, doesn't matter. We're gonna be, from now on, I'm just gonna be basing all of everything off of these sound files, and I'm just gonna put all these sound files under one collective branch, because from what I can tell, these are all hey connected. There, Mike. So there's Westridge, like, being all chill, being all cool, uh, because back in this version of the story, Westridge and Mike were, like, in a buddy cop sort of scenario. Doing my best. So it's just kind of like, yeah, just, just do stuff, <laughs> I guess, just, just do stuff. Gonna close that one. Nice work. Nice work. Just like training. Just like training. Uh, can I actually open these with uh, Windows Media Player? Oh, we'll let that work. Not recognized. I can't apply it. Okay, that's fine. I'll keep doing it with Audacity then. You okay? You okay? I'll make it. So you can hear like the interactions between Mike and like Westridge. <sighs> that slightly sounds like Parker to me, but I'm not sure if that's just Hold it! me making that up or not. Wait! Hold it, wait. Okay, coast is clear. So yeah, this is like Come on. Some kind of like So this is some kind of like thing going on in Saudi, right? On it. From the sound files, from everything that's going on, I'm pretty sure this is happening in Saudi. Copy that. Uh what I'm looking for though is Stay back, it's still dangerous. It might not be in this one, actually. Right. Right. I don't know who that is. That doesn't sound like any character in the final game. Uh, okay. That was just some generic, like, sausages, I guess. Aww. Aww. Okay. Okay. But yeah, th these ones aren't that interesting. <laughs> yeah. CO1 is where we get into some of the cool stuff. So I think this is the one where Mike kills his first person. I'm pretty sure this is it. Uh, and if this is the case, there is some interesting voice acting here. Mike! Mike! Thornton, do you copy? So he's kind of like in shock at like what he's done. No, wait, no. He's... No, I'm pretty sure what's happened here actually is he's been, like, knocked out or attacked by somebody 
and then in self-defense he kills his first person is what happens mike talk to me damn it because west is just trying to get in contact with him he can't get in contact with him and then this is probably going to be the terrorist or whatever mike now that's west still uh <laughs> i know pretty soon we do get like so who do you work there we go. for mi6 cia mossad i'll find out i'll find out What should we use? Players? One of the okay, one of these is louder than the others and it's so funny. Players? Drill. Drill? I think it might be this one. Maybe car battery. Maybe car battery. <laughs> I don't know why that's so much louder. Blowtorch, maybe? Blowtorch, maybe? What about? What about? And then this is where the sort of scuffle happens. No. No. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. ah. And then the rest of these are like pen sounds from this guy getting attacked or whatever. <sighs> Before I get out of here, I need my gear. I oh, know that's Mike saying that's Mike after having already presumably probably killed the guy. I think the rest of these are just pen sounds. Yeah, because it's 20, 20, 20. I'm just gonna skip all those. Mike. Okay, so it's gonna be right here where the voice line is. Uh, I copy. Like he sounds out of it. I'm waiting for it. I thought I lost you, Thornton. Uh, it must be this one then, yeah. Westridge. I just killed someone. It's like, the first time he's done it, he's... Look, I need you to get it together. I've never killed anyone before. Like, the voice acting here, like, that first line was a bit weird, but... Mike, you've trained for this. Now, I know it's tough, but if we're going to get through this, I need you to focus, all right? I honestly think this is, like, pretty, pretty decent. Yeah. And then there's, like, another voice line where it's just like, I've got my gear, let's go. It's just like, okay, just... Copy that, stand by. Yeah, there's, like, other voice lines where he's not, like, as distraught about it, but... Now you're sounding like you're... How's this one? Play seven. After the training you put me through, I'll be damned if I'm gonna die on my first off. No, still following. Yeah, basically you get the idea. He gets out. He gets attacked by somebody. Probably like it sounds like he's being like tied up or something. Breaks free, kills the terrorist, and then feels bad about killing somebody. Uh, well, these ones vomit. AP07 vomit. I don't know what these are. Is it, are these the ones for like Parker being taken? I don't know. If I knew, I'd tell you. I swear. These are the ones for Parker being taken. You swear. You swear. I don't know about nuclear anything. Okay, so Parker was somewhat related to New Sun. Yeah. Yeah? Yes! Yes! I- <laughs> oh, I love this version of Parker! Play! Play? What? It was the winning bid. The money's been- The nuke is still in Moscow. I'll call- With the pickup location within the hour. Oh right, he was playing the tech. It was the okay. winning bid. The money's been- Okay, so no, that was this version of the story then. So yeah, uh, <laughs> Parker had something to do with a nuke in Moscow. And transferred the money to Leyland. Or for Leyland, or whatever he was I said earlier. Stop! That is your voice? That is your voice? No, 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 <laughs> it, it sounds like me, but th th that's not me! I never- <gasps> I never said anything like 
<laughs> oh, I love this version of Leyland. Oh, Leyland. Parker so much. This version of Parker is so good. You are Alan Parker? You are Alan Parker? Oh, that's a very common name. <laughs> Look, you get the wrong... <laughs> I love this version of Parker. And then we get hit. So he gets hit. Bro. Uh... This version of Parker is so good. Last chance. Where is the nuke? Where is the nuke? Oh, we said it was in Moscow, right? Or it was going to Moscow. He's going with me to the airfield. So then Parker gets taken to the airfield. You're going to die very painfully, my friend. So presuming from the voice lines that we heard earlier, and from what I've been told, it seems like there might actually be a way to save Parker, because from what I was told before, Parker dies on the plane. Um, but the voice lines earlier seem like Mike was trying to interrogate Parker, so maybe there's a way to save him, or there was a way to save him, because obviously this version of the game never came out, <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. What the fuck? Okay, th there's the vomit. Great. CO3. So now he's been taken to an airfield, which presumably was reused as one of the airfield levels in, uh, what you call it, in the final game. You hear that? You hear that? You like jazz? I heard enough. Parker's role in this just became significantly more complicated. Yeah, because Parker's now involved with news in Moscow. <laughs> Which is ridiculous. I'll say. I, I love Parker's characterization in this so much though. It's so good. Mike, it's imperative you find out where that airfield is. Parker's our only lead right now. CO3. Westridge, Al Samada is planning something at that airfield. I didn't get much, but it seems big. Yeah, so. Um... So I'm gonna guess that the airfield was actually like one of the first things that they made. Also judging from the fact that there was like the graveyard like sound file, like the, the graveyard music files, and that is the plain graveyard in the final game. So I'm gonna guess that they actually just reused that map. And I actually noticed in a stream from ages ago, um, that was on Twitch, so you, and the clip might still be there. but. Um, the map, when you open the map, um, in the final, like, area of the final Saudi mission where you, uh, take out Shahid's APC, the map for that area doesn't reflect the actual environment. So I feel as if they redesigned that area at some point but just forgot to update the map. So with these sound files, with the old version of the map, from that level, we can kind of like put together how the game used to be, which is kind of bizarre. Like, there's so many like leftover assets, it's actually really easy to like put together um, what the game used to be. One step at a time, Mike. Get those people out of there. So, yeah, we've got this going. Then. Yeah, we've got this going on, and then. APO1, CO4, I don't know what this one is. No name? I don't know what this is. RSO5, why is that in here? That's gonna be something in Rome, I think. Not good. Not good. You should go leave a note on their windshield. What? Well, I don't have a pin on me. You know what, actually? Hmm. Oh, no, no, never mind. <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna say. Shall we? Shall we? 
Waiting on you, man. What's a no name? I I really don't know what it says. Heads up! Reinforcements coming in! Oh, I guess that's supposed to be 10. Heads up! Reinforcements! Yeah, that's supposed to be 10. So I, I guess from that, like, Westridge was actually supposed to, like, assist you in, like, the game as well. On it. Which is cool, and, like, I'm disappointed that they never did that. <laughs> I need you to make sure that plane doesn't take off. There could be a lot of lives at stake. So yeah, and there's, like, this whole plane thing. Hey, don't die on me, Thornton. Probably shouldn't have skipped ahead that much. Uh, <laughs> let's go back and listen to all these in order. You can count on me. So, go, go, go stop the plane from taking off. Damn right I can. I'll clean up here and get the hostages back to the safe house. Let me know when you get to the airfield. Okay, so let's go to the airfield is what's going on. Will do. Yeah, so we're going to the airfield. Hey. Don't die on me. That's probably him talking to a host uh, one of the hostages then, probably. You got it, coach. Oh no, that is him talking to <laughs> Mike. Never mind. Grow. Hey, don't die. That's the same. I guess it's him saying like don't die me all like when you go to the plane. That's what it is. What's RS05 B01 Right. Right. That's it. Okay, thanks. Cut free. What's this one? Cutscene free. Who'd have guessed? Who'd have guessed that cut free was cutscene free? But what actually is it is the question. You hear that? You hear that? I heard enough. Parker's role in this just became significantly more complicated. Okay, so this is like just after the Parker dialogue. Where reveals it's revealed that he's like involved in a nuke. I'll say. I'll say. Mike, it's imperative you find out where that airfield is. Parker's our only lead. Okay, that's the same as another voice line. Copy that. I'll just. I'll just. Seven. <laughs> now let's find out what you know. Where's the airfield? Oh, so this is an interrogation with somebody. American son of a bitch. Not going to be able to stop us. When the plane takes off, Al Samad will write our name in the blood of the infidels. Hmm. Don't think so. Interesting. Stop! Don't kill me! I'll talk! <laughs> that, that sounds pretty quick after, like, that one voice line, Burton. Airfield, now. Was Relief Airfield to the north. Okay, so this is how you discover the location of the airfield, then. How would you get there? How, how would you get to a location? Probably by vehicle, but... Small road out of camp. Maybe eight kilometers to planes. Never make it in time. <laughs> Never make it in time. It took a little work, but I got the airstrip location. It's about five miles north of here. So again, they're, they're, they're like doing this thing of Mike actually seeing, hu seeming human and like not enjoying like harming people, which I don't know why they didn't do that in the final game. That would have been like a kind of interesting thing to have, but not bad, not pretty, but it comes with the job. Hmm. And I've got the camp's coordinates. I'm sending them your way now. Good work. Now get those hostages to safety. Now get those hostages to safety. Westridge, Al Samada is planning something at that airfield. I didn't get much, but it seems big. Is this gonna be Westridge telling him to go to the airfield? One step at a time, Mike. Get those people out of there. 
Okay, no, so you need to get people out first. Copy then. And then you need to go to the airfield, right? And there's also a cutscene bar. Uh, there are a lot of cutscenes. Yeah, we're only like happier one still. Not good. Not good. That sounds like another voice line. You, sh you should go leave a note on their windshield. Yeah, this is the same as the other stuff. Shall we? Is it gonna change here, though? Waiting on you, man. Waiting on you, man. Looks like that's the last of them. Might get on that jeep over there and get after Parker. Okay, so that's different. So you're supposed to get on a jeep and chase after them? On it. And then what happens here? Heads up! Reinforcements coming in. Okay, so that makes more sense. This would have probably been a turret sequence then. I need you to make sure that plane doesn't take off. There could be a lot of lives at stake. So then that would be, I guess, after you make it to the airfield. You can count on me. And then. Damn right I can. I'll clean up here and get the hostages back to the safe house. Let me know when you get to the airfield. I don't know then. I'm not sure how exactly this was supposed to play out. Will do. Hey, don't die on me, Thornton. Yeah, I don't know how it's supposed to play out then. Oh. APO1 flute. I don't know what this is about, but... Gotta wait for it to slowly go through the files. Oh yeah. Everyone okay here? Wait, is this the same as This feels like it's the same as the first one again? Uh yes. Yeah, this is the same as the first set of sound files again, I think. Too high to climb. I've got to open it. Okay, that's different. Uh. Uh. Okay. Seventy-seven. Ugh. Gotta open that gate. The controls are probably close by. Too high to climb. God, no. Okay. Alright, so... Oh, there's more of these. Are these the same thing again? It looks like the same ones again, but with a different... Folder path. I'm gonna open the last one and see if it's the same. Same file size, I think it is. Too high to climb. Yeah, too high to climb, go up in the box somehow or whatever. Okay, APO2 BO1. So we're now into a different thing. Oh god. This is gonna load. There we go. Ah, these. Thornton, when are you gonna join the company baseball team, man? We need that good pitching arm of yours. Okay, so APO2, okay, so this is the thing, APO1 from what I can tell is like Saudi, it's all the stuff in Saudi, APO2 from what I can tell is a completely separate 
cut thing where you were supposed to like infiltrate a Halbeck like office. So Mike at this point is like undercover in Halbeck. Sign up sheets in the break room. Don't hold out on us, man. Which is kind of weird. Um. Hey Thornton, I think my email has a virus or something. It's been sending out really inappropriate messages to people. Okay, Ben Shapiro. Uh. Look, I don't even know what you're talking about. Look, I don't even know what you're talking about. Hey, I don't, I didn't, I, I didn't send any email. <laughs> well, we're zero and ten right now. We're looking to make a comeback in the last few games. Do you mind? Do you mind? Pardon me. Pardon me. That sounds like Westridge, actually. Which it makes sense, because, I don't know. Scratch videos. So I think these are actually placeholders, um, which I guess is why they're called scratch videos. Um, I'm gonna have to ask you to return to your desk. I'm gonna have to ask you to return to your desk. Maybe not then. All these were. Mike, you know you're not supposed to be here. Mike, you know you're not supposed to be here. This is your last warning. Leave the area now. This is your last warning. Okay, that's it. Let's go, sir. Okay, that does kind of sound like a placeholder, to be honest. <laughs> like, it doesn't really sound very intense. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me, please. Oh, sorry. Again. The brief... Wav. APO2. Westridge debriefing. So I think this is these actually look like the same ones from before that were like text to speech, right? Not bad. Yeah, these are the text to speech ones from before. Which means there's two sets of these. Unless these are the ones from before, actually, never mind, it doesn't matter. Uh what are these? What are these ones? DLG FB1 WAV. Gotta wait for it to work through because it's just gotta do that for some reason. There we go. These might actually be the ones that have the placeholder voice acting at them in them. Hey, Thornton. Hey, that sounds final, actually. That sounds like final voice acting. I was wondering if um Yeah, that sounds professionally done, actually. Dang. Oh, well, thanks anyway. You can't go in there! <laughs> hey! You can't go in there! You can't go in there. That's not allowed. This isn't a beach, it's a bathtub. You can't go in there! Yeah, so this is- is this just gonna be a woman saying you can't go in there? in six different ways. <laughs> hey Mike, where have you been? No, it's not. It does change. Hey Mike, where have you been? Where have you been? Hey Mike, where have you been? Okay. So these ones, I, I want to say. Hey, Mike, working hard or hardly working? <laughs> I hate that guy, and I've only had one voice line from him. Jesus Christ! Oh, you know me, Mike. <laughs> oh my God, is this Darcy, or is this like proto Darcy? I don't know. <clears throat> I hate him as much as I hate Darcy. Oh my god, I can't listen to these. Mr. Thornton, my computer is broken. It won't turn on. Yeah, that definitely sounds like an IT job. 
Did you check if it's plugged in? <laughs> oh my god. Well, of course I... Oh, wait. I unplugged it Friday. Never mind. Uh, this is Pimpful. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Sorry, can't reinstall Solitaire for you, company policy. <laughs> what? Actually, hold on. Where is this? Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. I wonder... Oh, am I just... Do I have... I do have... Okay, hold on. I'm just going to quickly send this file to somebody and then... uh. Hi, Chris. And then pretend that everything's... So actually, I need to export it as an MP3 first, I think. Uh, export as MP3. Yeah, just export it there. Uh, just give me a second. I'm just doing something really dumb. Uh, open a new window. Boop. Okay. Oh yeah, cool. Uh, right, I'm gonna carry on with this now. I don't need that Saudi Arabia folder open. There we go. So I can close that and go back to opening these. Sorry, can't reinstall Solitaire. Let's can't reinstall Solitaire for you. It's company policy. Yep. Eh, maybe someday I'll let you know. No clue what that's about. I'll have to take a look at it. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Okay. Um. Hi, Mike. Um, nice shirt. <laughs> oh, I hit this character as well. Whoever this is. Thanks. Um, you look nice too. <laughs> Thanks for being so awkward about it. This is I love the writing in this in this version. It's like the I think the writing in this version might be better than the writing in the final game as well, but like I especially love the way that Parker is portrayed. Like Parker is just such a funny character with all of his voice lines. It's it's honestly great. Really? Thanks. Like they really get across the annoying characters as annoying. See ya. They get across the fun characters as being fun, while still being psychopaths. Bye. It's it's great. I I love the voice acting in this version. I mean, conflicts here, tensions there, gang warfare someplace else, or even better. Why not have the financial bit about how Halbeck stock is rolling down a hill? <laughs> what? Uh. Yeah, that's my response to that. Um... Some days I just don't even feel like turning on the TV. Good, good for you. I. <laughs> <laughs> I, lo I love how like this just sounds like Mike is just unsure of how to respond to this. Hey, you knock yourself out with the news, there, Mikey boy. I'm gonna head down to the cafeteria, get a decent cup of coffee. <laughs> Actually, that kind of sounds like Darcy. Hey, you knock yourself out with the news there, Mikey boy. I'm gonna head down to the cafeteria, get a decent cup of coffee. <laughs> I wonder if that actually was the original Darcy, then? Huh. I mean, he's just as annoying as Darcy, so... Uh, see ya. Yeah, I can... I could see that being Darcy. Help you. Don't know who this is. Who? They are very close to the mic, them. Tall guy, brown hair, you know. Don't worry about it. I'll just page him or something. Oh wait, 999. Have a nice day. Look, it's 08999. Sure, you too. 
Why does it jump up that high? Have you seen Mike Thornton? That's a... Okay. God damn it, Bill! That shit's not funny! What? <laughs> shit's not... Bill, that shit's not funny! Oh, that shit's... That shit's not funny! Shit's not but shit's not but shit's but shit's not but shit's not but shit's not funny but shit's not funny but shit's not funny could add there's so many like these voice lines are like I can imagine like cropping so many of these and just using them as like reactions to people that they are so good for reaction stuff honestly that's what I'm getting from these that joke email about sleeping with my wife yeah well sleeping with my wife <coughs> Yeah, well, next time I'll report you to HR and let's see how funny it is then. Report you to I'll report you I'll report you to HR and let's <laughs> Yeah, you could cut these down in so many ways. That's great. Whatever, dude. Take it up with HR. So, what's the team's record? Oh, is this about the whatever team that was mentioning earlier? I'll pass. There are a lot of these voice lines for like this Hellback Office sequence. Hey, Chris, work it hard, or you? <laughs> I'm guessing somebody interrupts him. Uh. Hey, you Monique, work it hard or hardly work. Okay, I'm guessing everybody just tells him to shut the fuck up because th that that's good. I like that. Dave, just stop. Yeah. Everyone just tells him to show the fuck up. That's Dave. No. Hmm. Hi. Hi. You back from work? Hey. Hey. You back from work? Hey. Afternoon. Afternoon. Excuse me. And excuse me. Hmm. Hmm. I must run over it. Jesus Christ. Fine. I didn't want that candy bar all that bad anyway, stupid machine. <laughs> I said it was that candy bar anyway. Nah, I'm caffeinated enough right now, thanks. <sighs> All out of change, and the only cash I have is this really crumply dollar. <laughs> what? It was the child's fault, but now in front of you. I mean, yeah, but you have to stop. You did stop. Okay. I shouldn't waste too much time here. People will get suspicious. People will get suspicious if you start thinking about running over children. If someone asks if I have a case of the Mondays, I might kill somebody. Oh my god. That's a good one. I like that one. Westridge is gonna get impatient if I don't call him soon. I don't think I've listened to all of these, actually. I think I only listened to a few of them. Time to see if my little email did the trick. Time to see if my little email did the trick. I could get sucked into a million inane conversations here, but I'm better off avoiding the temptation. Story of my life. I could get sucked into a million and end conversations, but uh, why? Quick little glance won't hurt. Like that's just generally like, <laughs> like I mean, I could do that, but I I respect my time more than that. So just checking the system. Just checking the system. Let's see what we have here. Let's see what we have here. Might as well cut down on the background noise. That could be literally about anything. But then again, background noise might be a good cover. Oh, I guess there's a choice there on whether or not you keep the background choice background noise going. Hope someone didn't throw it away. That'd be a pretty sad way to end my spy career. <laughs> I guess you're supposed to look for something and it's like some somebody maybe threw it away. Neat. What is going on? Why can't I open it? 
Nah, I don't have anything to heat up right now. Okay. Okay, little friend. Let's see if you can do what I programmed you to. So some kind of like robot or something. That's an eating. Some kind of like drone. Ooh, Mina's out there. I should wait until she leaves. Mina. So Mina's in Hellbag. Interesting. I think I was actually told that before that Mina was a character in Hellbag, but that definitely confirms him. Uh, okay, let's try this again. Gonna give this another shot. <laughs> give what another shot? Hey, I emailed you that info. Check it out. Let me know where you want to meet. I wonder if that's Mina then. I wonder if Mina had a different voice actor, because I haven't heard anyone that sounds like Mina. Oh, I emailed you some info about this place in Napa you gotta check out. Trust me, it's great. I wonder, I wonder who voiced Mina then in the early versions. Yeah, maybe next time we can all go to the concert and I'll bring someone else along, you know, so your girlfriend doesn't get weird. Hmm. I don't know anymore. I honestly could be like anyone. I don't know. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Gotta finish this up. Mike, I'm trying to work over here. <laughs> I guess that's me now. Sorry, you'll have to wait for Mr. Leyland to return. Can't help you. Oh, so you would have actually met Leyland in Halbeck. Next time, make an appointment. It sounds like it was um a way more traditional style game because this like whole Halbeck section sounds like one whole chapter where like it's just you sort of roam around Halbeck's headquarters and do stuff in Halbeck's headquarters and then once you're done you move on to the next chapter and the same thing with the Saudi as well because like the AP like 01, 02 and like each AP section being like a different a distinctly different like thing makes me think that the game is broken up into like chapters before but I don't know don't you have some work to do downstairs has some very aggressive downstairs. I'm really quite busy here, if you don't mind. There's over a hundred files in this folder. Hi. Hi. Afternoon. Ugh, God, sorry, I'm tired. I just... Hello! I was gonna go to sleep before I did the stream, but, like, it, this just, like, pops into my head, and... It was like, yeah, I should probably just like get this information out there at some point because it's, it's. I'm not doing anything with it, and other people might be interested in knowing about it. So hi, Mike. Yeah, there's like loads of files like this. Like I'm only like down to AP two there. There are Mina files, but I'm pretty sure these are text to speech. These are placeholder files, so they don't like have anything in them. I don't think. There's no, like, voice acting in them. I don't think so, anyway. I think they were text-to-speech. We'll check, but... It's hard to believe. Just yesterday I was back... No, this is placeholder voice acting from presumably somebody at, somebody at Obsidian. It's hard to believe. Just yesterday I was back at Halbeck, San Francisco. Wishing of all things to see more action than sorting through data fragments for even... No, this is somebody doing Mike's lines. This is... <laughs> This is actually somebody doing Mike's voice lines. Because th there's actually a version of this voice by Mike, I'm pretty sure. It might be this one. I don't know where it is. I want to find it now because it's the same line but voiced by somebody else. Profits from our European branches have been showing a marked decrease in particular. The best option seems to consolidate our Frankfurt and Paris offices into our Rome branch. So there's something to do with Rome. It's hard to believe. Why not our London office? That has better contact with... Uh... 
Okay, so somebody was very adamant about merging into Rome. Shareholder directive. If we shift too much into London, we can't spin it. It should look like a move to encourage more concentrated growth in the area, or it'll seem like retreat. So something was going to happen in Rome. Moving on. Chuck, what do you got? Well, uh, we're on track for closing down our detention and removal operations division. Uh, it's been reported as only 15,000 jobs downsized so far, so we've been able to keep the real numbers out of the media, and, and, that, and that, that's good work on PR. Is that uh, uh, Susan or uh, Su Susan? Susan? Susan, right? Susan's team? Uh, uh, Shelly, uh, can you send her? <laughs> it actually, it actually, he was just said Susan for like five seconds. Are you joking? Uh, uh, Susan? Or uh, Su Susan, 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 right? Susan's team. <laughs> Good voice act. This is this is great. All right, uh, Shelly, uh, can you send her and her guys out uh, a uh, oh I don't know some kind of a fruit basket thing uh, like maybe gift certificates? What the fuck is uh, this? Well, you you get that. Moving on to our robotics department. Uh, <laughs> it's the most it's the most realistic awkward guy at a meeting. One question. Has this passed the board yet? Not yet. It's on the agenda in the next few weeks. Okay, let's push the issue, say, 0.5 days per quarter and leave it at that. Shelley, can you make a note of that? Okay. What else? Okay. What else? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get away from there! Oh, that's Westridge. Sorry, got a little turned around. Okay, I guess Westridge at some point meets up with Parker there. Parker? Uh, Mike there. DLG West's a brief? No, these are the same ones, are they? Can't we go back to MG8? Yeah, these are text speech ones. Secretary, I've already looked at those. DSS1? Are these the ones where Mike speaks? I don't remember. It's hard to believe just yesterday. I think this is it. It's hard to believe. Yeah, so this is the actual one that they got the actual voice access to do. It's hard to believe just yesterday I was back at Halbeck, San Francisco. Wishing of all things to see more action than sorting through data fragments for even the slightest lead. It had been about a year since Westridge had begun training me to spy on my own company. Be a CIA agent, see the world, meet beautiful women, federal holidays off. Oh, and while you're at it, find out who was selling American military tech on the international black market. Sounded like a challenge. Exactly what was missing from my life. Truth is, I spent more time filling out reports than taking on eyepatch dictators in the bowels of a volcano fortress. Westridge thought I watched too many movies. So you can see them. Westridge had begun training me to spy on my own company. Be a CIA agent. CIA, CIA agent. In this version of the story, it was CIA. Um, Alpha Protocol, as I said earlier, didn't exist in this version of the story because Alpha Protocol was the name of the status that Mike was under. We'll get to that later. Um, and this is the placeholder version of that line. It's hard to believe just yesterday I was back at Halbeck, San Francisco, wishing of all things to see more action than sorting through data fragments for even the slightest lead. It had been about a year since Westridge had begun training me to spy on my own company, be a CIA agent, see the world, Meet beautiful women, federal holidays off, and while you're at it, find out who was selling American military tech on the international black market. Sounded like a challenge, exactly what was missing from my life. Truth is, I spent more time filling out reports than taking on eye patch dictators in the bowels of Volcano Fortress. Wetcher's thought I watched too many movies. So he's a Wetcher's wrong. Wetcher's thought I. Wetcher's thought. Wetcherish. <laughs> okay, right, um. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the Mina one real quick because there's there's more sound files in here and these might be interesting to listen to. And so right after my sister leaves with her perfect boyfriend, my mother like looks at me like this. 
think that's also a placeholder because why did they have like placeholder things in the Mina folder? That's weird. Because it had like background noise, which wasn't in the other recordings. And she's like, if you ever want to meet someone like that, you should think about cleaning yourself up so that you look more like a girl. And I'm like, thanks, mom of the year. Way to give me self-esteem issues. I mean, geez, it's not enough that I graduated magna cum laude and have a good job. No, I have to be a fashion model, too. Like, people are always telling me I look like that girl on that show. Oh, you know, the one I mean, the one with that guy who's always... <sighs> what? Why do these things always happen to me? And she's pretty. Do you think she's pretty? I have no idea what was going on in these. I'm guessing these are just like generic background conversations. Whatever, you know what? I don't care what my mom says. Frankly, there's a reason my dad never says anything anymore. We thought he was going deaf for a while. Nope, it's just my mom. At least that's my theory. It's pretty funny during big family dinners. Dad just sits there like... <laughs> I kind of feel bad for him, but I guess he still loves her. Or maybe he's just, um, Mike? Uh, what? Mike? Mike? Mike, you're not listening to me. Maybe this was Mina, then. Maybe this actually was Mina's voice lines. Mm hmm? <laughs> Placeholder Mike. <laughs> what were you thinking about just now? Oh, uh, maybe... Oh, right, maybe, like, her talking about that was supposed to happen while Mike was having his internal monologue of death. It's hard to believe, just yesterday I was back at... That would make sense. Okay, that would actually make a lot of sense. Like, Mike is sort of, like, thinking about that to himself while Mina is, like, talking about whatever the fuck. And then... Mike? Mike? And she's like, w w what's going on? What are you doing? What were you thinking about just now? I'm just thinking about government espionage and shit. Network security, of course. <laughs> this this place all the voice actor is so good. Mike. That new receptionist in a tiger bikini, riding a T Rex. I think there's some symbolism in there too. What? Busy here. Oh cool, got text speech back again. Just stuff. How's the day treating you? Um, you know she's dating the VP of development, right? Not in the milkshake in my mind she's not. Not in the milkshake, in my mind she's not. Not in the milkshake, in my mind she's not what? Hilarious. So... Okay, so I'm guessing this is Mina then, and she's working a hell back. Did you need something earlier? No? Okay, no big deal if you did. Just let me know, and hey, did you see the broadcast is going to be in town at the end of this month? And, you know, I kind of know you like broadcasts, and if you're interested in going, I might have an extra ticket. But you don't have to tell me now, and it wouldn't be like a <laughs> date or anything. Just friends and coworkers kind of thing, but... Okay. Uh... <laughs> Hello, it's just that, so... Can it wait? I just thought... So I'm get yes, this must be Mina. Just monitoring people's web browsing. Tompkins, you know, Leland's assistant, really likes animals. Ooh, that clipped. That clipped really bad. No, not like... <laughs> this guy is such a good... He's, he does such good lines. Yeah, yeah, like... No, not like. Yeah, yeah, like. I'm gonna just ignore the rest of these because they're probably not very interesting. Go have a cup of coffee, relax, take your mind off things for a bit. Yeah, it just seems like just a generic conversation. It's, <laughs> it's not very interesting. 
Um, let's have a look at Leyland. I wonder if these are voiced or if... I wonder if these are voiced or if these are text speech. Good afternoon, Mr. Leland. I guess not. And I guess they only made free files for it. Afternoon. Excuse me. Well, that sucks. Uh. APO2 secretary. Secretary 7 is the first one. Help you. Oh, I've already listened to these, haven't I? Yeah, these are the same as DLG secretary for some reason. So I've got DSS1. Don't know why I've. It's hard to believe just yesterday I was back at Halbeck, San Francisco. Wishing of all things to see more action than sorting through data fragments for even the slightest lead. So I wonder if these are actually the Mina, like actual Mina voice lines then. And so right after my sister leaves with her perfect boyfriend, my mother looks at me like this. Oh, so this is actually the actual Mina voice actor then. And she's like, if you ever want to meet someone like that, you should think about cleaning yourself up so you look more like a girl. <laughs> I'm like, thanks, mom of the year. Way to give me self-esteem issues. I mean, geez, it's not enough that I graduated magna cum laude and have a good job. No, no, I have to be a fashion model too. I mean, people are always telling me I look like that girl on that show. You know the one I mean, the one with the guy who's always like... Yeah, so this, this is actually the Mina lines then. Why do these things always happen to me? And she's pretty? D d do you think she's pretty? So they left in the placeholder lines and the final lines for it. Well, whatever. You know what? I don't care what my mom says. Frankly, there's a reason my dad never says anything anymore. We thought he was going deaf for a while. No, it's just my mom. At least that's my theory. <laughs> it's pretty funny during big family dinners, dad just like sits there like, mm. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for him, but I guess he still loves her. These were one voice line in the placeholder file. Or maybe he's just... Um, Mike? 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 <laughs> Mike! <clears throat> You're not listening to me. I think this is Mina then? This has to be Mina. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> What were you thinking about just now? Network security, of course. <laughs> I love the way he says that, that's so good. But yeah, these voice lines are great, honestly. Mike! Uh, these voice lines, I love them. Uh, the new receptionist in a tiger bikini riding a T-Rex. I think there's some symbolism in there too. Um, you know she's dating the VP of development, right? The T-Rex's name is Mike. <laughs> uh, I'm so disappointed that we never got these voice lines. Hilarious. So. Uh, I'm so disappointed. I'm kind of busy here. Oh, it's just that, uh, so, uh... Can it wait? Uh, that's too good. Just stuff. Now, how's the day treating you? Uh, I might just skip ahead a bit, because these are just going to be the same sort of voice lines, but voiced by the actual voice actors. Totally my treat. The tickets cost me practically nothing. It's not like some grand gesture of eternal devotion or anything. <laughs> Yeah, so this is literally just the Mina files, but actually voiced by the actual people. Sounds like a plan. 
Uh, these are two. Oh, I guess the SS stands for decision something something. I don't know what the SS stand for, but the D probably stands for decision because this is definitely like a decision sequence. Decision sequence something one. I don't know what it stands for. But in that case, the DSS ones are most likely decision ones. It's definitely one. There's so many of these, we're not going to get through all these. Um, I've already been here for like two and a half hours and I kind of want to go do other stuff and I'm tired like I said and I kind of want to get food and blah blah blah. So I'm just going to like speed through the stuff that I already found that's more interesting. I might do another stream like this if people want more information on this and I can like dig up some more stuff but um, I'm going to skip ahead to AP07. Because uh, APO7 and APO8, because this is where we get some really interesting like information about the story. The living room's through there. Try to run and I'll tie you to a post outside. Oh, I already listened to this one, didn't I? Because this was where, like, it was... I just want to lie down. Yeah, this was Parker and, like, the whole thing of Parker. Um, APO8, cut one. This might be the one that I'm thinking of. It's just two. It's just two files. Never mind. This isn't it. I could use your help right now, Westridge. So as you can tell, let's see if you had anything you were protecting the rookie from. So as you can tell, something has happened to Westridge. Presumably, Westridge at some point between AP02 and AP07 dies and I don't know how, I don't know when, because there's five whole sections that are missing and we only have the files for AP01, AP02 and AP08 basically. Um, so Westridge at some point dies and uh, Mike is left without Westridge and then things start getting super interesting because then we get this, th this whole conversation and we don't know where it goes from here because there's no other files related to this version of the game. Dear valued customer, we are unable to ship to Saudi Arabia at this time. Your order should be cancelled. We understand that this may require changes to your business strategy. Immediate withdrawal will be refunded. Please confirm receipt of this message immediately. Sincerely, customer service at Octagon Office Supplies? What the hell? There's a number. This seems irrelevant. It actually is because that that <laughs> that number he calls it, and then we get a conversation that gives us a lot of information about the story. Octagon Office Supplies. How may I direct your call? Customer service. This is customer service. What is the client name on the account? I called to let you know that the business was conducted in Saudi Arabia and it did not go well. I'm sorry to hear it. Is there anything else I can do for you? You can close Westridge's account, but I need to do business with you. Please hold. Of course. <laughs> so to be clear, so I'm pretty sure from the fact that it's Octagon Office Supplies, I'm pretty sure this is something to do with the Pentagon. It's like some kind of like cover thing, um, and this is like related to the CIA somehow. I'm not really sure how, but look, lady, I've had a horrible day to put it mildly, and you sent Westridge a warning. So you're gonna tell me what you know right, goddamn now? So this is obviously a different like choice, like a different line that you can choose because it's a decision sequence, so um, obviously one of them is just like, please, like you can just please hold and then it's just, you can get mad at her or whatever the other one is, probably like, um, 
joking response or something. Actually, that one probably was a joking response. The one's probably a calm one. I'm afraid I can't discuss Mr. Westridge's account with anyone but him. But yeah, the, at some point this will give us a lot of information, just wait for it. Westridge is dead, who are you? Please hold. Hey, hold, damn it. <laughs> Westridge was my partner. I just got back from Saudi Arabia and you sent him a message. How did you know? I'll need to speak with Mr. Westridge. Westridge is dead. <laughs> what? Westridge... Westridge didn't make it back. Please hold. Why did that happen to two of them? Okay. Yeah. Hello? So then she gets back. Is this line secure, Mr. Thornton? Yeah, how did you know my- <laughs> Name? It's a CIA buzzword right now. I heard they miss you. I'm not sure I can go home right now, not without answers. Oh, whoops. Answers. I think that decision may be out of your hands. They suspect you have answers for what happened in Saudi Arabia, and they seem to have good reason to believe it. So it's a similar sort of setup. It's something happens in Saudi that makes Mike, like, be investigated or, like, be tracked down. But in the final game, uh, it was... I mean, what even is it? It's like... Alpha Protocol send missiles to go kill him, and then he's just declared a rogue agent for some reason. Whereas in this one, uh, it makes a bit more sense. There's a bit more like reasoning behind it, uh, which we'll get to in a second because obviously it gets explained. But that voice on the recording isn't mine. They say the analysis of your voice was a match. So obviously there's some kind of faked voice recording, uh, like connecting him to something that happened in Saudi. But let's back up. Why did you warn Westridge not to go to Saudi Arabia? I received unrelated intelligence that led me to believe the meeting at the restaurant was a setup. By the time I'd validated my suspicions, the warning apparently came too late. So something happened at a restaurant where presumably Westridge was killed. That's assuming you're telling me the truth now. The details of my story are somewhat irrelevant, next to the matter at hand. The CIA is searching for you, and you should probably do something about that first. So the CIA is now trying to find Mike to sort of do whatever? I don't disagree, and a smile's only going to get me so far. Question is, how do I find out how I got in this mess without attracting attention? So now Mike has to, like, figure out what's going on and try and clear his name. Okay, Mr. Thornton. If you're looking to track down whoever set you up. How do I know you weren't responsible for setting us up in the first place? Feel free to disregard my advice as it suits you, Mr. Thornton. But I assure you, the CIA isn't something you can brush off as easily. Tell me something I don't know. I don't plan on going back without Westridge's killer over my shoulder. So the difference here is that in the final game, it's like... Alpha Protocol tries to kill off Mike, they cut ties with him after using him to like recover the missiles for Halbeck, and then Mike has to like uncover what happened with Halbeck and like try and take down Alpha Protocol and reveal the truth about Halbeck to the world. 
in this, it seems like Halbeck is still there, Halbeck still is doing something, there's still evidently like nukes going on because there's nukes in Moscow, apparently. Um, and but the the setup for it is a bit more personal, right? Because for the first however long of the game, Mike spends his time with Restridge, who then gets killed in some kind of some sort of setup. Um, Mike seems to be implicated in some way, either in like maybe one of the terrorist things that happened earlier, or maybe involved like even in the killing of Westridge, maybe. Um, so Mike has like more of a personal reason to actually like go after it rather than just let's stop this random company. Um, so there's a bit more of like a personal connection to it. Um, and there's this whole thing of like the CIA like doing an investigation into what actually happened and he has to do his own investigation into what actually happened so we can go back to the CIA and be like yeah no it wasn't me this is what actually happened so there's a bit more of like it's not quite as like I don't know I think I kind of prefer this setup to the final games so and just how did you know Westridge in the first place pretty soon we're going to get the explanation of what Alpha Protocol actually is in this version of the story as well I brought information to his attention in the past. Can't say much more than that. Fair enough. If he asked you for advice in the past, I'd sure appreciate any tips you might have that could take the heat off. Okay, Mr. Thornton. If you're aiming to get out of this mess alive... Where is it? I know it's somewhere around here where she explains what Alpha Protocol is. You're going to need to be pretty well equipped. Money, safe houses, weapons, contacts. Now I know you're too new an agent to have much of those, so you're going to have to use Agent Westridge's. So basically, she takes the role of Mina, although from the voice acting earlier she might actually be Mina? I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is basically this is basically Mina. He never told me about any as to whether or not it is actually Mina, I don't know. But this is effectively Mina. The CIA has something called the Alpha Pro- There's no filter on this one. But yeah, this is the explanation of it. The CIA has something called the Alpha Protocol. Have you ever heard that term before? So, what is the Alpha Protocol? I think Mike might explain it. Agent whose operation is no longer endorsed by the CIA, but is still working for the good of the CIA. An agent who is no longer endorsed by the CIA, but is still working for the good of the CIA. So basically, in this version of the story, Mike is under investigation by the CIA because like, he's been implicated in some bad things that have probably happened, but he's still working with the CIA, just unofficially, because he wants to know what happened. He wants to know why his partner got killed. He wants to clear his name of whatever he was implicated in. So I think this, I, I honestly prefer this setup and like this meaning of Alpha Protocol to just Alpha Protocol being a random secret organization that turns out to be bad. Like, I feel as if this is just a better story setup overall, but I don't know. I really want to see where this story would have gone as well, because it sounds really interesting. And it means the operative is without any of the agency's resources or support. To them, your actions will probably be mistaken for those of a rogue agent. But if you are able to clear your name... So he's effectively a rogue agent, but... Not necessarily. Not, not not technically. Then all is forgiven once I revoke the Alpha Protocol. So basically, he has to get enough evidence to clear his name. And that's basically the plot. That's basically the setup for the plot. It's... It's not as, like, dramatic as my organization tried to kill me and now I must get revenge and stop a worldwide conspiracy. Although there still is this worldwide conspiracy, evidently, because of the nukes everywhere, but... Like, I, I really prefer this setup. I just, I feel, I feel like this is a way better story setup. Well, ideally speaking, yes. But you have to remember that until then, you're entirely cut off from the CIA, and they're likely going to start hunting you down. 
So then the CIA is now after him because, obviously. Then I guess I'm operating under Alpha Protocol, whether I like it or not. There is one other thing. This whole process of evading the CIA, clearing your name, etc., is obviously not going to be easy. Not to insult your skills as an agent, but you could likely use some help. So what do you propose? Okay, here are my terms. First, I won't answer some of your questions. Sorry, but I get to know more about you than vice versa. Next, you don't have to trust me. I'd actually expect you to know better. But it'd be wise to listen to me. Finally, I get to back out of this at any time. Don't expect two weeks' notice. Not the best deal, I know. But I can't afford to be flexible. And you can't afford to be picky. So it's like Mina, but a more strict Mina that isn't just going with you for no reason. Honestly, I didn't really get why Mina in the final game was like, yeah, I'm just going to help you with absolutely no reason at all. Whereas in this one, it's like Mina or whatever her replacement is, because I still don't know if that's actually Mina or not. Um, it's like, okay, but I'm setting this up very clearly. If things go wrong, I am leaving you. I am not staying involved. Like, she makes it very clear. That's rather blunt, but the fact is you seem to have a knack for getting your eyes on risky information, and it would benefit me to know someone like that right now. I appreciate the sentiment, but we're not in a good situation to trust each other. We're both taking risks. And that's why from now on, you need to be more cautious. For both our sakes. That seems like an error of judgment on your part, and frankly, lady, your angles seem a little round. I don't trust you, not for a second. So that's one of the other voice lines, obviously, that you can pick. You don't have any reason to trust me. But what I can do is try to establish my credibility with my help. So why don't we start right now? What reason would you have to help me? We're almost at the end now. I have my own reasons. You should know that I'm taking more than a few risks, simply offering to assist you. Although I think it's probably safe to say that you need my help more than I do yours. Yeah, once I'm done with this episode, I'm going to end off the stream because I'm... I need to go do stuff, but... Um, Maybe. Like, I just wanted to get this all out there because this is all super fascinating to me and I'm sure somebody else is interested in this. It's your right to be suspicious. And you don't have to listen to me if you don't want to. But that being said, do you still want to hear my advice? Sure. As far as resources go, I take it you have Westridge's PDA around? I'm also going to leave the stream public once it's ended, by the way. Because this is like the only stream that I'm going to do that with, but... Obviously. It's Westridge's PDA. What do we need that for? Good. From his files, I'd assume he was always prepared for the worst. I'd check his PDA for information about any reserves he might have kept. Safe houses are top priority. This is a big city, and Westwood was well-traveled. The odds are good he'd have one here. Got it. There's one here in Rome. So that's Rome. Wait, one here in Rome? Okay, so that's... So this is currently set in Rome, then. Got it. There's one here in Moscow. Oh no. Oh no, I guess this is where you pick where to go first then. Maybe. The air of mystery isn't actually winning me over. It's just Rome or Moscow. There's no option for type here then. That's too bad. But we don't have a lot of options here. It's best that you stay a skeptic anyway. Unless this one's type M. Sounds like a plan.
No, never mind. More like the start of one, but whatever you like. Before you go, Mr. Thornton, we don't have any real reason to trust each other, but in order to continue this particular relationship, there's something I have to know. Did you kill Agent Westridge? So obviously, there's this. So obviously, like, Mike is in some way implicated in killing Westridge, obviously. Given the evidence, it must sure seem that way. Obviously, that's what the implication is. Um, I did ask for a reason. And unless you know something I don't, you don't have any reason to take my word for it. True. So just maybe with your help, I'll get my hands on some cold, hard proof. Until then, all you can do is hope I didn't. I really like that exchange, actually. That's a very, like, reasonable response to that. That's a unique way of putting it. Very well. We'll talk about this later, Mr. Thornton. If this was, like, the final game, I feel as if he would have probably just said, no, <laughs> I didn't kill Westridge, and then just carried on. Let me be clear here, whoever you are. You may not have known Westridge, but he was a friend and a mentor to me. And when I find out who's responsible for his death, they're going to wish they had never heard my name. Is that a good enough answer for you? So that's obviously a different response to the question. I needed to hear it from you. We'll speak later, Mr. Thornton. And then this is presumably the third choice that you can choose. No. No. <laughs> okay, so that's just sure of no, that's... Okay, so there is just a no response, but I, I like the one where he was like, "What? Well, you wouldn't believe me anyway." Like that—that that made more sense to me. I'm sorry. I had to know. We'll talk later. That made like mo the most sense as the option there, but. Hmm. And that's that. That's all the files for that. Um. Obviously, there's still a bunch more for APO two, but I, I can't bother going through those right now. Um, APO2 doesn't seem that interesting anyway, like most of the files in here aren't super interesting. Like, I'll go through a few of the DSS2 ones real quick, but... Chocolate milk, this is lunch money. Wait, is this the one with Westridge? Quiet as a vegetarian buffet in Houston. What? Okay, never mind, I take it back, this is interesting. Good. Any longer than a few minutes and security might notice. First of all, I know it's frustrating being cooped up in an office all day long doing paperwork. But you have to understand, Mike, that's a big part of our job. And I need to know I can trust you to do that. Are you with me? <laughs> What's so free, actually? I'm going to do a free and to you then. Sorry. What did I tell you about code names? <laughs> Quiet as a vi- That was a fall that I didn't do as well. Is the room quiet? Okay, yeah. So, I don't know what this one is. This is exactly what I mean. There's a time and a place for everything. You say you want to see some action. Then when I actually call you with a mission, what do you think I want to hear? Wait, what did he say? What was the thing that triggered that? But was that the one with the monkey or the talking car? Uh, okay. That's so just Mike being a smartass. Okay. I'm just gonna skip down a bit and see what happens. Welcome to the CIA. You wanted action? Here's your action. Okay, so evidently there was some kind of, like, mission in the Halbeck sort of stuff then. What's the ss free? i have a quick look at DSS. Actually, I, I want to find the one which is like the interrogation scene because that one's kind of like interesting to listen to. Um, and then I'll probably end there. If it's DSS free, then it's DSS free. If it isn't, then it isn't. Is 
This is broken. Ah, oh, good. DSS three. Oh yeah. This is DSS two. This is DSS two. What? What did I tell you about code name? Yeah, this is DSS two. Uh. Yes, it's free. There we go. Help you. What? Can I help you? Okay, well, I don't know what that one is, but that's not the one I'm looking for. It might be DSS for then. No, no, it wasn't. It was a Saudi one, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I've extracted that one. Ah, oh, fuck, I haven't extracted that one. Maybe not, actually, I don't think I did. It's broken again, are you joking? DSS4, right. I'll listen to a few of these. Not bad. And then we'll see if this is interesting or not. There's not many of these, but I just don't really fancy going through them. Is that actually opening? Yes. I wouldn't have given it to you otherwise. Given what? I need to find out what the context for that is now. Did I not tell you I was ready? Oh, okay. I don't really care about what that's about then. Uh, okay. So... Oh, fuck yeah, I'm gonna have to export it. Right. Sound... Off protocol, IP... IP game... Where is it? Packages... Dialogue... Uh, yeah, so it's Saudi, somewhere in Saudi. Is it Saudi 6? Because I'm pretty sure it's one of the Saudi ones that isn't actually in the game. Cooked PC, maps, game. Saudi 6 isn't in the game, yeah. So let's quickly just export Saudi 6 then. Yeah, there's also Saudi 2, which doesn't exist. 9, 10, is there an 11? Nope. Okay, so that's everything then. Uh, okay. So those are the last few things I'm going to extract. Those are the last few things I'm going to look at. Saudi 2. What is Saudi 2? And then what is Saudi 6? When it wants to finish flicking through the file names. Uh, this one might be the interrogation scene, actually. You're here. Ready to break him in? This is the interrogation scene, yeah. So this is obviously from the early one because it's Westridge and Mike talking to each other. So this is obviously from the CIA build, um, as opposed to the final game. Is he cooperating? And it's basically just Westridge doing an interrogation while Mike tells him how to handle it. That's basically all it is. Barely said a word. 
So somebody isn't cooperating. And then I think Mike is all like Let's work on that. Let's work on that. Yeah. Right. Since you're still undercover at Halbeck, you'll stay behind the glass. Leyland's your department, so I'll follow your lead. You can direct me on my earpiece. Yeah, so basically you tell uh, Westridge how to handle the interrogation. Got it. Are you seriously keeping me here? Do you know who I am? So there's the guy being interrogated. We're the CIA. We know who everybody is. Leyland's your standard overpaid exec, so... He probably doesn't know how to respond to humor. Wait, is it Leyland that they're interrogating? What part of the world would you like to spend the next 30 years in? Oh, it's Leyland they're interrogating. Oh, I never noticed that before. <laughs> Excuse me. So this is supposed to be Leyland. It's <laughs> they changed his voice actor, but you're the closest thing I have to a suspect in the slag attack. And frankly, I've got to lock someone up, or it really looks bad with the boys upstairs. Yeah, so basically, like, you just tell Westridge how to handle the interrogation and blah blah blah. You can tell how that goes. Um, I'm pretty sure it ends with, like, Leyland not really giving any information. So I don't, I, don't know if the, I don't know if there's, like, an alternate ending where maybe he does, but from, like, what I listened to, I don't think that was a that was an outcome. So what's SO6? Because obviously, SO6 isn't in the game. This is a, another mission that just doesn't exist. So I don't know if this is, like, a cutscene or what. Chocolate milk, this is lunch money. Oh, this is the same as what you call it from earlier. This is the same as AP02. So I guess that was a Saudi thing? What did I tell you about code names? Oh, and this time he's he's filtered. Right. So what's banner? And also what's the Parker one? I'm not going to listen to all of these, obviously, I'm just going to listen to a few, just so I can get a feel for what they actually are, so I don't have to spend all day listening to files, but... If memory serves, there's a security camera near the elevator. Be careful. That sounds like Parker, actually. I guess Parker's, like, on a radio, like, directing you or something? Just listen to a few of these. What are you doing? Stop firing! <laughs> That's good. I like that. Uh, Parker's... Parker's fun. Stop it, you sociopath! Radio silence, please. It's basically it's just banner back and forth with Paco. You sure you can't take my shift next week? And also like random atmospheric like lines. So P Parker. What are these about? Agent Thornton, you certainly took your time getting to Milan. Agent Thornton. Okay. Um. Good to hear you too, Parker. I'm riding up in the elevator now. So these are unfiltered. I feel as if these should probably be filtered, but. Agent Thornton. I'm reading you, Parker. Riding up in the elevator now. Yeah, they should be folded then. So the security code I had worked then. Not surprising, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, no, it's not surprising. It should work. Wait, you weren't sure it would? <laughs> Wait a sec, hold on, yeah. That's, uh... Well, let's just say I assumed incompetence on Halbeck's part. I 
gleich C. Had it been me, I'd have changed the codes as soon as any temporary employees were discharged. But Halbeck is not known for its due diligence. It's basically Halbeck is incompetent. Good. Great. You gave me an unreliable code. No, I assumed Halbeck would prove unreliable. Well, it worked, didn't it? It sounds like it worked from the voice lines. What's the next step? So I don't really see what the problem is. Well, now you need to get up to the executive floor, which requires VIP access. A code I don't have. Okay, so there's some kind of, like, thing in the Halbeck headquarters to do then. So, what, I wait for a promotion? Parker had, like, quite a lot to do with the early version of the game then. Because, like, he gets, what, kidnapped, you serve him, and something to do with nukes, he helps you through Halbeck. He seems, like, pretty relevant to the story. Yeah, so that's, that's all of those anyway. I'm not going to go through any more of them. Um... I think I'm about done for for now. I've I've been gone for about three hours. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I guess. Um, if you're watching this once the stream is like archived and you're watching this as like a video just on my channel, then um, hopefully this was interesting because like the story of this game. Like the history of this game and like the development of it and like the three different versions of this game are super fascinating to learn about and there just like isn't that there just aren't that many resources that like really talk about it um so hopefully like if you like this game and you care about it like maybe you've learned something from this um yeah i'm gonna go now because i've got other stuff that i want to do so Thanks for watching. I will stream again at some point soonish. Don't know when. But um Yeah, I'm gonna go.